Oh, hello, one, two, one, two, check, check. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, now it should work. Uh, connection issues beforehand. Welcome back on the 27th of uh, June here. The last few trading days uh, during uh, the, uh, the month of uh, June, obviously, with some uh, sort of uh, potentially at least uh, remarkable pieces of uh, news. Obviously, foremost important uh, the situation in uh, Russia. There seems to be some sort of a potential threat still ongoing from the Wagner Group, at least in regards to the Russian idea or from the Russian side, at least when listening to Putin. What's going on? Putin said he condemned the leaders of the Wagner um, a mercenary group as traitors to Russia. So the story obviously is that he claims that um, Prigozhin and his crew would overthrow the government in an attempt to potentially uh, do a sort of a not regime change, but ousting potentially Putin uh, from uh, Moscow while being uh, on, on uh, their path of attacking the capital back in the uh, days on the weekend. However, Prigozhin claiming that uh, seemingly this was not his idea. It was, uh, or he wasn't uh, trying to oust Putin's government, but would keep his uh, mercenary company going despite official efforts to shut it down, obviously. So the story still unfolding in a way. However, if we are looking at news uh, in terms of market motivation, it seems that uh, a slight positive risk sentiment uh, could be the current outcome, at least for now, as we don't see anything of negativity on the horizon in general in regards to this situation. And uh, obviously, interesting story would also be uh, from the U.S., where um, President Biden stated that uh, neither U.S. or NATO had played any certain role, and he sought to preempt any talk uh, from Putin that the West provoked this, uh, this uh, situation with a, a kind of uh, a war uh, uh, or soldiers, say, a paramilitary group uh, to attack their own uh, their own uh, government, their own leaders uh, in this uh, act of treason, as Putin had called it. The situation remains uh, kind of tense and uh, interesting, obviously, for the uh, uh, ch potential change of the war in, uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, the situation might push uh, also plans somehow further aside, as uh, previously Vygoshin stated that uh, Belarus uh, leader Vygoshenko uh, was uh, doing a good uh, deal or was brokering a good deal to offer a truce between uh, Russia's uh, Russian leaders and uh, the paramilitary group. However, the situation, as uh, uh, we don't know where Prigozhin and uh, the leaders are currently uh, staying at, uh, remains kind of uh, quite tense, at least for the, the current situation, obviously, in regards to a potential further uh, impact to, uh, uh, to whatever might happen. Um, what's going on in terms of stock markets? They have started to perform slightly better for the day so far. Well, some might say they are currently trading at a bit of a resistance area, slightly higher here in this case, uh, slightly on the upper side for now. But looking at it uh, from the opposite side here, it could be the case as well that the markets are just uh, following up with uh, the recent uh, continuation pattern, downtrend continuation pattern, as uh, it might be observed here in regards to the S&P um, 500 at least. Looking further down the road here towards the NASDAQ, uh, we can see something similar that the market is as well uh, kind of starting to perform a slight push of retracement higher. Whether this is kind of going to change into a, another bull run might be the big question here. Yet most indices uh, have started the days uh, slightly higher, but also the DAX uh, performing slightly better on top of a somehow interesting support zone. So uh, the zone currently where the market has uh, uh, stopped uh, falling further pretty much uh, previous resistance, now turning potentially support, could indeed lead towards uh, some sort of sideways slash uh, positive side pattern. So let's see how the market uh, is going to unfold in the near um, a, a future, say in the trading day uh, or maybe even tomorrow. News-wise, uh, I haven't gotten the news page open, by the way. I forgot about this one here after rebooting the workstation. So let, let's take a look at what is going to happen, because today, on the 27th, we got a, a bit of news here, which, uh, which are not really mind-blowing, but potentially um, causing some sort of uh, uh, market volatility here. Uh, to begin with, uh, President Lagarde's speech in one hour 
not the one that might potentially be of high importance. Durable goods orders in the US and obviously something which is in relation to our current positioning or the trading opportunities, at least say, which comes from the Canadian dollar or say from Canada in general. The Canadian dollar is starting to approach an interesting support level. Yeah? And this is exactly where we like to sell this market to the short side of things here. Um, should the support level broke, we might see that further market momentum is kind of pushing this market back to the downside somehow further. Um, should the support level in terms of here, this recent trend line basically, or say, the support zone where the market has not done anything much to the up or to the downside. However, the 50 moving average is the interesting situation, which is potentially supporting the market at the moment. Yet, when giving way, could indeed leverage for the momentum to the downside, helping markets to push back towards lower areas here of some sort. So that's the uh, current market situation and the current uh, uh, triangle formation, which uh, it could potentially uh, be seen addressing the market uh, momentum uh, from the pretty much short term market environment uh, with the exception of this push to the upside here. Hourly chart for hourly chart would push uh, uh, the market's uh, direction potentially to the downside here as the triangle formation might play out. And with that, causing the market momentum to be rather bearish, uh, causing the euro to weaken and causing the Canadian dollar to potentially strengthen somehow further, as it can be observed here uh, of this market environment for now. Uh, else on the monthly chart, we got the same similar uh, market momentum here. And uh, that's kind of the interesting situation when looking at it from this perspective here, um, Eurocat weakness uh, on the long term charts, slightly supportive zone. And uh, the 143 area, so the pretty much support zone once broken, it could give uh, this market environment uh, some sort of a positive uh, momentum uh, towards the Canadian dollar. So a downside motivation might be of particular interest here when looking at this market's environment uh, uh, for the time being. Uh, similarly to the dollar against the, uh, oops, I lost my mouse. Uh, similarly to the, comparing it uh, uh, to the dollar, uh, uh, the US dollar, uh, with the uh, or against the Canadian dollar, um, the market environment here is also quite bearish. And uh, the weakness here uh, comes from various sources. First of all, the Canadian dollar's uh, strength is pulling the market back uh, to the downside here. Holy moly, a huge month of June is potentially ending soon, smelling like some sort of retracement. Uh, and what we quite often notice in markets is that. Uh, after a push, a strong push uh, towards lower levels, uh, we have seen markets uh, basically changing direction uh, at some point. And uh, with a change in market direction, we could as well arguably see that uh, a further market motivation uh, to the downside might continue. However, a bit of a correction further toward the, towards the last trading days or the first trading days of, uh, days of the month of uh, July might cause uh, further momentum here. In, the, in, in this case here, um, towards lower levels. Looking at the oil prices, there's not a big surprise happening uh, so far. So only what we can see and observe at the moment is pretty much that uh, the, uh, uh, the oil market uh, currently is trading in a sideways pattern, slightly uh, to the upside based on the support zone here, uh, based on this uh, um, uh, pin bar candle here. Um, and this support zone, which currently lasts and seemingly supports the market momentum uh, being rather positive. But looking at the four hour chart, we can observe that the market is already starting to fight uh, with the 50 moving average. On the hourly chart, we are still slightly above it. On the four hour chart, we can observe that the market might uh, follow up with a bit of further weakness. Um, and this weakness obviously could uh, uh, kind of uh, be the reason that the markets uh, in the end will uh, be quite on shaky grounds with uh, the potential market momentum here uh, in a sideways slash a slightly positive pattern uh, of some sort. Economic figures, and that's uh, maybe also slightly related to the oil market. Uh, there was a warning as Bloomberg reports from China the Premier Li Chiang warned governments against politicizing 
their economies. So the idea should pretty much be that um, economic threats uh, would not be used um, um, in terms of um, uh, politically uh, for political reasons or political stories. Uh, some in the West, as he claims, some in the West are hyping up the so-called um, phraseologies of reducing dependencies and de-risking. Obviously, um, the big story which is currently uh, unfolding in the semiconductor industry that basically China won't get a lot of access to certain uh, ingredients or material in order for, to produce uh, uh, chips, microchips, which are uh, in need, or, or of course, for the uh, uh, for the um, um, for the economy and in particular for the AI technology. So it remains interesting on how the markets are going to unfold in these regards. But uh, we can observe currently a slight uh, positivity here um, for the uh, markets in general is uh, still what's happening and what causes market momentum to be slightly uh, up and running towards higher levels. Looking at it from the euro dollar perspective, we can observe there is actually pretty much no man's land here currently. The markets are in a sideways pattern, hard to digest where they might go. From the weekly chart, we could see a left shoulder pad and a potential right shoulder here in this market, calling for some sort of further weakness potentially on the euro dollar's daily chart. It looks like the market is going to run back to the upside here at some point. So indecisiveness is the key takeaway looking at it from the pound us dollar same story it can be observed here right now the pound us dollars market is uh, as well moving slightly to the upside so maybe some dollar some sort of uh, weakness uh, from the greenbacks perspective uh, to be expected leading the market momentum here towards the upside uh, offering maybe some sort of uh, weakness for the dollar and with that we can also continue talking about the Australian dollar. The Aussie actually starting to see some sort of positive momentum in this case here. So the Aussie rising further after the huge weakness here we have observed in the recent few trading days here, at least this last week, right? So a weakness back down towards and through the 50 moving average, causing the markets to be of bearish motivation, which in the end, it could as well be of negativity here based on the monthly chart. And uh, that's obviously the interesting situation right now to observe whether the market is going to continue with further weakness or whether the market is going to follow up with further positivity here. and positivity in the Australian dollar might likewise obviously push the stock markets and equities in general towards higher levels. There's some sort of uh, information from the financial uh, center here. Credit Suisse will pay a 900,000 US dollar a fine, obviously not too much to settle financial industry regulatory authority allegations. Uh, uh, so debt trades uh, are the big story, obviously something which uh, definitely uh, in the end uh, UBS will have to shoulder now in the end as they have planned for it uh, uh, previously. Remember this, that uh, um, UBS had uh, uh, record high profits uh, just uh, offered those figures recently, uh, setting aside anyways cash for such allegations. So the situation might be interesting uh, to follow up in the end. Um, FINRA said that the bank's US brokerage reported about 9,000 trades late to its trade reporting and compliance engine. So uh, that uh, kind of came from November 2000. 15 until last year in March, uh, seemingly due to coding errors. So uh, that's at least how they uh, claim it. And Credit Suisse also mislabeled a key pricing indicator uh, <laughs> on 415,000 trace reports uh, involving US Treasury security. So the situation um, it remains, uh, it remains interesting, but uh, obviously uh, further reasons might come out uh, why the uh, why the um, it, why the, the Swiss bank giant. Uh, was in the end uh, collapsing as well. What else is up and running here in markets? Open position wise, uh, we have our long position in Bitcoin. That's uh, basically not doing anything much, to be honest. Uh, at the moment, it's slightly on a sideways path here. Let me check where this our Bitcoin trade here. The market had broken out to the upside. It looks quite remarkable for Bitcoin to push back towards higher levels uh, of some sort in the near future, at least uh, when looking at it from this perspective here in terms of Bitcoin, US dollar monthly chart uh, pushed back all the way to the upside here, trading above 50 moving average. Uh, 
on the weekly chart trading above 50 moving average on the daily chart similarly similar same story and the uh, upside momentum uh, upside momentum uh, might uh, really be due to continue in this case uh, on the flip side gold running slightly higher we have our short position obviously it depends on the weakness or strength of the dollar uh, we would expect uh, the dollar's strength to somehow take over here at some point daily charts uh, weakness uh, uh, remains to be seen here for now the market is in a sideways pattern uh, but the downside motivation might continue the same which is true as well um, for silver and the silver market is in particular interesting as uh, silver remains well supported of this support area so uh, potentially another lag to the upside question mark silver looking at least to be a quite positive here with potential further momentum here and towards higher levels at least uh, for now uh, as the daily chart suggests here in this case a uh, pushing market momentum higher yeah sorry a bit of uh, not boring markets but currently it's not too, too much to see it's a bit of a sideways pattern short-term uh, trends short-term opportunities uh, might offer a further momentum here in markets in general however for the long-term approach here so far in terms of uh, the market's uh, motivation currently there is uh, not too much so we shall see and uh, wait for further opportunities uh, Currently, the Eurocat sell stop order might get triggered at some point. That's obviously looking still quite good. Uh, where is it here? Um, when or if the 143 zone will be broken, obviously that could kind of unleash further momentum to the downside. Question wise, I don't see anything. Guys, happy trading. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye bye.